Hey, good morning, everybody. Here we are at the Knife Dogs 2013 Hammer Inn uh, in North Mankato, Minnesota. And uh, we're getting the hot shop set up outside here. We'll have three anvils going, a couple forges for the outside for the forging part of it. Inside, we'll have a slip joint making class. Keith Johnson will be leading that. Then out back, Roger Cook will be uh, showing us how to make pucos from start to finish, including the leather uh, puko style sheath. Then uh, We'll have a uh, Kydex class, Steve Janik will lead that, showing how to make some Kydex, that, and then just meet, great, learn, share, network, that kind of thing, should be fun. Stick around and uh, let's, let's have a I started knife making in high school actually, before I graduated from high school, I graduated in um, 1980, so, but I started forging in 1983. I've been working the hot pit, been running the hot pit, uh, teaching folks how to forge, helping them get their feet wet in it. I spent a long time forging in charcoal briquettes. I heat treated in charcoal briquettes a lot. Um, I've demonstrated in heart charcoal briquettes. You, you, gas forges are the best way to go though. And I build my own gas forges out of the hardware store. The only thing you really have to source out is the uh, refractory or the liner for the forge. Otherwise any round cylinder will do it pretty much. I use an R12 canister. That'll tell you, nothing fancy. Mostly hunters using knives, uh, small knives suitable for hunting and camping and such. That's primarily what I sell. I also do large buoys and such, which are a lot more fun to make. Most folks really want to buy hunting and field knives. I, maybe it's my the child in me, but I, I like the big knives. Back up again. Now I'm going to go back. I make um, hidden tangs, fixed tangs, um, liner locks, uh, folders, and um, mostly uh, hidden tang buoys, that type of thing. I just give some demonstrations on uh, sheath making. I made a knife for a young gentleman yesterday. Uh, just meet everybody. This is a lot of these people I only see once a year, maybe twice a year at a show. So it's an opportunity to uh, socialize. I, I, I picked it up as something I wanted to do since I was a little kid. I actually made some knives a long time ago, 50 years ago, out of butter knives and things like that uh, that I stole from my mother's knife drawer and converted them into uh, hunting knives with little deer horn antlers and uh, handles and stuff like that and then always wanted to do it and then uh, when I got a little older and got a little more opportunity and a little more money then I started. Uh, joined Knife Dogs as soon as it uh, opened up. Uh, I'm not sure um, what number member I am but it's low. I started right away and um, got my own forum and became a moderator about two years later, uh, then a super moderator. First I was into blacksmithing. And uh, between blacksmithing that I did, I started to uh, make a few knives. And the knives kind of took over. And I enjoy the knives a lot more. 
It's a lot more challenging. I make Scandinavian style knives mainly, but I also make straight knives, uh, just about any kind of knife that somebody would want, <coughs> either Damascus or high carbon steel. Keith Johnson uh, asked me to come down and demonstrate. He said, give Tracy a call and looking for a demonstrator, and I did that, and Tracy wanted me to come down, so I came down and started demonstrating for him. I think this is the third year now, and I um, went and missed it again. Probably a Scandinavian, and I like making them out of Damascus because uh, I like using nice wood. I, I really like uh, I really like the appearance of burl. I like all the figuration in it, and I really like that. The uh, leather I use is called half tan. It's half leather, half rawhide. Uh, half tan will dry between 15 and 20 percent. If you use vegetable tan and you wet it to form, to form it around the blade in the case, it'll only dr uh, dry between 5 and 10 percent. And you want that shrinkage so that knife fits tight after you pull the, after you take and pull the foil off. Back in, okay. before you take off. <laughs> Thank you.